It's a big week for the world of academia. The Nobel Prizes are being announced and they have stirred some controversy for two main reasons. First, the hyper focus on artificial intelligence with Nobel Prize in AI being awarded in the physics category. And second, Google's triumph on the Nobel stage. The tech giant makes tens of billions of dollars every year, so it has pursued huge research projects. And now Google researchers are winning one Nobel Prize after another. We know it is hard to make groundbreaking discoveries. But when you're competing with big tech, there seems to be no winning, quite literally. The question remains, is this a level playing field? Here is a report. It's that time of year again. Congratulations are in order. Some of the best minds have been plucked from academic obscurity. They are being awarded the Nobel Prize. So far, in the fields of physiology or medicine, chemistry, physics and literature. They all have an impressive body of work, obviously. But if we focus on science, most of them are pioneers in artificial intelligence and they're affiliated with Google. This year, that last bit has stirred a debate. This week, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to David Baker, Demis Hassabis and John Jumper for their work in designing proteins, the so-called building blocks of life. These scientists used AI in their research. Baker is a US biochemist, while Hassabis co-founded DeepMind, which is Google's AI research lab. He won the Nobel Prize alongside his Google colleague, Jumper. So that's two out of three for Google, and three out of three for AI. And remember, this is the second Nobel awarded to researchers with links to AI and Google this year. Which brings us to the Nobel Prize in Physics, which has been the most controversial so far. It has been awarded to John Hopfield and Geoffrey Hinton, popularly known as the godfather of AI, for their discoveries in machine learning. That paved the way for the AI boom. This Nobel Prize is raising eyebrows. First, because an award in physics has been offered for work in the field of machine learning. Experts say that what the researchers did was phenomenal, but was it physics? The jury is out on that. You see, the Nobel Prize has six categories. Medicine or physiology, physics, chemistry, literature, peace and economics. There is no category for math or computer science, so an achievement in AI can't really fit in. And Hinton agrees. He said that if there was a Nobel Prize for computer science, our work would clearly be more appropriate for that. But there isn't one. Now the second frustrating bit for academics is the Google link. Hinton is a former Google researcher. He made headlines last year when he quit the job at Google to speak more freely about the dangers of AI. That being said, his Nobel winning work received financial backing from Google. So the question remains, is this a level playing field? Google, the big tech firm which has been at the forefront of AI research, thanks to tens of billions of dollars the company makes every year. With no dearth of money and resources, Google is pursuing giant research projects. And Google is not alone. Most big tech companies do it. They have outpaced traditional academic institutions. And it's becoming increasingly difficult to compete, both in terms of resources and pace. So, is this the future of research? Scientific discovery dominated by profit-driven big corporations? Until we answer this question, innovation and the recognition of it will be limited to pockets, because the grass is greener where you water it. First Post decodes the U.S. election explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained. Every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.